what's going on my youtube family so today i got another one you know it's an addiction of uh, ebay surfing <laughs> and uh finding different sales and different things and of course one that came up that was kind of rare it's a, a limited run and as you could see by the title it's the bk9 the becker bk9 limited edition where they did it in like a copper stone wash and it was pretty badass so it came up on ebay and right when it popped up, I saw it and I was like, oh man, that's one that I, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I remember seeing that on uh, Gideon Tactical's channel. He did a review on it and he liked it better than the standard BK because it doesn't have the black coating, which we'll, I'll show you here and go over a little bit. Um, so I was like, oh man, I'll get it. And they, they wanted, he got one at 90 bucks, which is cheaper than you can get even the, the new ones now. If you want a new Becker BK9, so I was off for 90 bucks, I'm gonna get that. So of course I pulled the trigger and got it. I mean, it's, it's, it's a cool freaking knife, man. So uh, I'm gonna, Quit reapping here and pull this up. So I am gonna put the specs right here, um, just so you can see it. I mean, it's the typical BK9. As far as the, if you have a BK9, it's one of the most widely known knives. If you're a knife person at all, you know what a Becker BK9 is. So um, there's thousands and thousands of reviews. So I'm not gonna go over all the details of this, obviously, of the knife because of that reason. I'm just gonna go over it just because this is a limited run, and I want to show you guys. So this is what it comes in. It comes in, which I like. I like this. I don't know why they they didn't shot they shot away from this. I don't know why they, they the other ones are black. I think this one's nicer. It's less less frills. It's a little tighter, it feels like. Uh, this is even a little bit stiffer and uh, more rigid. Um, you know, so a typical uh, Becker BK shoes, but I like the color pattern. And it feels a little bit, from the standard one that I have, it feels a little better quality. I don't know. It just, maybe it's not, but it feels that way, you know, if that makes any sense. So a typical button fastener, and it does come with the lime green handle. So this is where this one gets a lot of hate. So a lot of people... We're complaining about this one when they brought this one out limited run because two reasons it has the lime green handle scales which obviously easy to to correct if you don't like it just the, the unscrews with these screws here and then you put on whatever type of handle scales you want whether it's g10 micarta um other style plastic or if you want to put on just black ones the standard bk one the black uh handle scales i mean you could do whatever you want so but since this one came with the green, a lot of people complained about that. And then the other big complaint, which a lot of people didn't like, and I believe even uh, Aaron from Gideon Tactical, he even complained about it a little bit, is the branding. And I guess a lot of people don't like that. They say it looks ugly, right? Because you got the Becker BK uh, K bar branding on it. And in my opinion, eh, it adds a little flair to it. I mean, again, you're getting a limited edition one, right? You're not getting the, the, the standard black coated one. And this one has a stone wash, like that copper stone wash finish, which I kind of dig. I do kind of dig. And it does say BK9 here. So I guess a lot of people want it to look like this side, right? Both sides. But for me, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, definitely, this one is definitely, definitely better, in my opinion, for wear resistant than the standard one. That standard one, as, if you follow me at all, and you see you see how much I complain and bitch about the damn black coated knives. Uh, the, I don't know if it's called Grivex or... No, not Grivex. I'm sorry. That's how it's called uh texture texture coating or just black coating i just say i hate it i don't mind bluing black bluing is different uh but black coated knives because it's this like film they put over it so every time you use it it pulls up all the freaking black coating and it makes the knife look like shit you know this you oil it up pretty good spray some wd-40 on it and you could hammer away pretty much all day chop trees down you know chop pine i mean to, to an extent right um and but when you're done you wipe it off oil it back up and it almost looks exactly like this when you freaking got it just almost brand new maybe a few little scratches you do that with a regular B uh, becker bk9 i'll show you with this uh coating on it all this texture coating gets pulled all the way up and you can see all metal and it makes a knife look like shit it makes a knife look like an old beat up knife when it's just been used once so that's why I don't like black coating. So I usually typically remove black coated knives I just because I love the knife. I love the freaking knife. I love the feel of it. I love the, the, the shape of it, the design. Everything I love about the knife, just not that coating. So easy fix, remove it and blue it. You know, if you're, if, you, if you're worried about that. Like me, I'm not worried about it. I live in California, so it doesn't get that humid. So I don't worry about it rusting. And I maintain my knives. I put oil on them. So um, I don't worry about it. Uh, being Not having a black coating for protection for rust. And, and if you do live in an area like that, just blue it. Blue it also helps with that, or you can patina it if you want to patina it. But it's just so much better without that black coating. And this is, again, this is a factory knife. So this comes from K-Bar like that, or it came from K-Bar like that, because this is discontinued, this one. Um, I really do I really do like this thing. It's it's 
fairly nice. You can still see the machine marking kind of right here a little bit, you know, like the lines down pattern. So that's probably how it looks before without it, but you know, and then they put that stone wash finish or they, or they should say they create the stone wash finish afterward, but um, but it's cool. It's freaking cool. And then again, I get it. It's the same exact blade as the other ones, but it's just, uh, I like how they kind of listened a little, think a little bit to their customers and did something different than just the black coating. So that's why I was like, man, this is kind of cool. But with that being said, I did sell this one. <laughs> so that's how I want to do a quick review. I did flip it kind of fast. I bought it maybe three months ago, four months ago. And the only reason why I sold it, and I, I it, and in the back, I still have that little, that little, oh man, I shouldn't have sold it kind of feeling. You know, I got that little itch in the back of my head, like, damn, why'd you do that? I put it for double the price. I didn't think no one was gonna buy it. I put it for 200 bucks. And again, I got it for like around 90. So I doubled my profit on it, but I thought, I was, you know, I don't think, I think it'll sit there for a while. I'll have a chance to at least do a review or something. Uh, I'll put it up for double the price. I don't think anyone will buy it. That same day, boom, sold. I was like, oh man. So, and I know it's a de demand knife, you know, they don't make them. They're hard to, this one exact uh, model is hard to find with that, uh, uh, the branding on it and that that's the copper stone wash. So it is what it is. I'm like, oh man. But, and then one of the reasons why I put it up to those because I already have, I have freaking three of them. I don't need another one. I have no room to, to display it. I have the one that uh, Wyatt Hines did, which this is, this is, in my opinion, even way better than this that they did from the from uh k-bar and that's this one here i did it uh my boy wyatt hines uh stripped it for me polished it up and added that bk the uh, etched in the bk9 combat buoy and then put the punisher symbol on both sides so i mean this is if i want to display because i guess this would be kind of a display buoy as well but this is more for use. That's why they made it like that with a stone wash, because stone wash take you can take more of a beating and stuff. But I wanted one for a display like this. This thing is dope. And then of course I had my other boy, freaking uh, Lucas Carroll from uh, Carroll's Custom Scales Handle Scales. He did the scales for me, which are freaking bitching, dude. I love them. Love them for this, especially with that that polish on this thing. So uh, and texturing is just awesome, awesome. I mean, night and day difference from this slick. So this is, you know, obviously it's lime green, but as far as the material, it's exactly the same on all the Beckers, the same exact plastic thin material. And this is Micarta, dude. And look at that with the, all that texturing in there. I mean, this is in your hand. This isn't coming loose out of your hand at all. This one feels a little bit sketchy swinging it fast. I don't even want it. This one I can swing fast and I have to worry. This one I feel like I have to kind of grip it a little tighter. So, I mean, this just feels just melting your hand. It's a lot better. It's even a little bit thicker, a little fatter. So um, you got a little more, it might even be the same thickness. It just feels thicker just because of the, the texturing, but it, it's definitely contoured better. You feel a little better in the hand. So just awesome, awesome, awesome. So that's one reason why I sold it. And then, like I said, I do have the Camillus <laughs> old school quarter inch thick uh, BK9, which this one's awesome because it's heavier and it's thicker. And this is the, I think this one is the O 0170 high carbon still, which is pretty close to the, to the, uh, this one's obviously, it's gonna, you know, they argue this was a little better because it's that C, uh, 1095 CV uh, Crovan. So it's gonna hold a little better edge, but I mean, come on, no one's ever complained. I've never seen anyone in any video snap the, this old thick quarter inch thick Camillus one here. So, um, and I, I love it. That's why I had to have the original, this old original one here. So, that's the reason, guys, why I had to sell this and double my money, but at the same time, it's still bittersweet because I'm like, oh, I kind of want to hang on to this for the collection, but I got so much stuff. I still got to sell other stuff, man. I got I got so many knives, and I'm starting to just flow over with knives in places where I don't even, can't even store them anymore, <laughs> and I don't want to just keep them in boxes and, and, you know, especially nice, cool, rare ones like this. I just want to put them in boxes and leave them on shelves, you know, and in the garage or in storage. It's, to me, there's no point. I like to see it. I like to be able to grab it and, you know, look at it or use it and so all, all the ones especially ones that are rare ones that are i know are more valuable and worth money or are going to be worth more of more money in the future i like to have them displayed you know i like to have them displayed in either my cabin my hutch or on a shelf or something I, I can't just have them sit in the box you know to me it's it's you know for me i mean everyone's different but for me it kind of defeats the purpose of having it if you you know especially if you're a collector and you want to see it right so uh but yeah so that being said i i had to sell this one so but I, I, before I sold, I said before I sold it, I had to, I had to make sure that 
I wanted to run it, run it by you guys and let you guys see it and give me your thoughts on it. If you want to leave me a comment down below, tell me what you think of this one, if you like it or if you hate it, because I know it's either it's one of those love-hate type relationships with this blade because of that branding across it. A lot of people think it's ugly. And definitely with those zombie lime green <laughs> handle skills, a lot of people don't like that either. Um, but I thought it was kind of cool. I thought it was different, you know? And then, but like I said, I just, just, uh, Gotta, gotta keep making room, man. Gotta keep making room for other stuff, for content, especially since I do this for you guys, testing and content creating and showing you guys different blades. I just can't keep stacking and stacking and stacking. I gotta, I gotta start cycling some out and bringing new ones in for you. So, all right, guys, that's it for this one. Please like, subscribe, share, and until next, knife, gun, or whatever.